What's up YouTube, this is 410 Auto Tech, going to do a review toolbox tour on my brand new Montezuma tool vault, uh, toolbox 72 inch with the hutch. Very excited, brand new, I love it. Everyone in the shop loves it, so let's take a quick look. Pop open the, this bad boy. You can see it rolls in it. I don't have lights, so I had to make my lights. But um, here you go. Top. Got my chargers. Some extra uh, just random bolts. Tool bag. Uh, speaker. Uh, some more chargers for snap-on. My monitor for work. American flag. My speakers for surround sound. Inspection glass. Some more speaker. Some more uh, chargers. Uh, I gotta stay fresh. Um, I'm really liking this countertop. If you could see, it's almost like checkered flag, checkered dots or checkered squares. If you want, whatever you want to call it. Nice reflection. As you can see, you can see the monitor. And then on the side, you got the pegboards where you can add stuff. You got the shelf, the tool vault shelf. You got different levels. You got one, two, three, four, five different levels you can add to it. You got pegs in the back. You got holes in each corner to to pretty much put uh, all your wires go through it. So I am not the tallest guy, so my head doesn't hit it. But you gotta watch out for right about. right there if you you don't have it good it'll come down and hit you in the head trust me I already figured that out top left drawer so you got uh, lock there lock there and a lock on the hutch open up this is pretty much um, still trying to organize so got both jump packs battery battery packs Bluetooth uh, noise canceling speakers for if I want to get away from people got, um, this little uh, Wi-Fi camera, endoscope for uh, inspections, candy, mamma jamma. So I got it pretty packed right now, but I'm going to take some out and go put it in my tool cart. I just wanted to lay everything out to make sure I didn't lose anything on the transition or if I was just missing items which I pretty much am not these but pretty much my impacts uh, deep and shallow I really need to buy like a complete set to make it all uh, you know more organized and this you know 10 16 23 never use a 23 never use a 20 or 25 don't have a 27 these are amazing snap on swivel half inch I use them pretty much almost every day um, comes in real big handy and I have these 12 point chrome which I don't ever use but I bought it when I was in school and then same thing deep 12 12 point Put some more over here um, oil filter I mean uh, oil pressure uh, switch uh, um, socket. Um, I use this just for like oil filters on uh, cruises and stuff. Oil filters on like anything that's the 2.4 liter, uh, Malibu's, Equinoxes, Cobalts. Um, I had this set from Cornwell. Really nice for anything interior wise and you got bolts, you got, you know, pretty much your Torx bit, tamper proof Torx, Phillips, flatheads and hex and then you got your adapters to put if you have to put a socket on it which is pretty good uh, Sunex tools makes this quarter inch magnet sockets which come really good handy if you uh, if you're in a place where it's tight and the, uh, your the bolt keeps falling off of it so that comes in handy these are definitely you can see the, the color difference on which actually socket I use all the time 13, 15, and then the 18 as well. Snap on, and they're a good, a very good investment if you're trying to look into sockets. And I have these shallow uh, six point sockets, really good. Have impact shallow impact sockets. 
have the snap-on six-point uh, uh, chrome sockets, uh, deep and shallow. And then I have my miscellaneous extra ones if I, you know, lose it. And it's always good to have extras. And then I bought the uh, my last video. This is the Quinn socket ones, which been working amazing. And then hub bearing sockets. And then you got swivels, impact swivel. Um, you have your three inch to half inch. Over here, pretty much miscellaneous stuff, like a uh, three eighths. I mean, three eighths, eighteen swivel. And then uh, this long um, spark plug socket. Don't really. It doesn't really. It, it hits. So it has to lay down. In my last video, you saw the Aries. So, like as you can see, I know I'm missing this. Uh, it's somewhere in the shop or somewhere in my roll cart. Uh, old set that I have my all my miscellaneous quarter inch like pretty much if I lose one I'll just take one from there pop it over here so as you can see pretty much don't have the four um, so these two are these five came in the set you got pretty much H, 8 uh, 12 10 13 15 and you got the impact 7 8 and 10. You my snap on this Vim. They make these wonderful tools, Torx bits. They're uh, pretty much stubbies. They come in really good handy. And then I have this uh, Blue Point kit. All your Torx bits, here, all your hex bits, hex bits. Every pretty much every size you need. Use the metric standard. Your Torx bits. More Torx bits that are uh, quarter inch quarter inch hex as you can see and then you got your half inch torques more quarter inch torques your um, e sockets pretty much every one you need and you got your stubby hex half inch bigger torx bits and then you got your more hex pretty much this just Pretty much a master set, and then this is for torquing or breaking free head bolts on the the new cruises and Malibus E10 deep, so you don't break the head bolts. And pretty much, I have almost every single kind of um, spark plug sockets. Second drawer, 10 through 19. Um, Craftsman right here, so this is 15, 16, 24, and I have my Max set right here that are pretty much miscellaneous, 17, not acquired from another guy, and these are actually the tool widget uh, wrench kit, a organizer, it's look pretty much good and handy right now, and then I <clears throat> stated that this was the Harbor Freight Stubbies, which I, I, I love, I highly recommend this to buy it. Lights, UV light for AC, oil filter, um, banner wrench, and then the one snap on, and then these rest are Craftsman set, and then I got a gear wrench set that came pretty good deal from 21 to 25. Craftsman over here and um, standard, and adjustable wrenches, snap-on, this big bitch is amazing when you really need something to come off and I got the smaller version right here. Air 2 sensor socket comes in handy, oil filter wrench, um, this is not mine but it's a buddy's I'm borrowing for a job and I got this little set for Craftsman as all the mini, mini wrenches, my favorite uh, blue point ratchet wrenches, eight all the way up to 19 and you can see how much room I got right here let's take let's see pretty much 26 3 eighths inches deep there's this drawer 
snap-on green uh, Phillips and flathead screwdrivers, snap-on trim tool, well I call them trim tools, and then snap-on pry wires. I love these because they got the tip on there where you can bang on it as hard as you can. Some miscellaneous trim tools I use, C-clamp. Cornwall comes out with this kit for a trim tool, but you can probably just buy the Harbor Freight Edition. Uh, chisels and punches from Harbor Freight. Um, mine, well, the green version of the pick tools would come really good and handy. You don't cheap out by these, the higher quality ones. They do break off, but not as easy as the Harbor Freight ones. And then you got the long edition. And I got snap on hose picks. And I got the snap, snap on. Um, clamp to take off hoses and snap blue point magnet that's flexible just comes in handy and here is pliers vice vices I'm missing a few so that's why I'm trying to organize everything so I gotta buy it or try to find it who has it in the shop then here is my impact Cornwell, <clears throat> half inch Milwaukee three A's, snap on three A's, Milwaukee one key three A's, um, Makita uh, little bit socket uh, gun, half inch old snap on. I got to upgrade trying to find a good deal on the on the Milwaukee Ingersoll Ingersoll Rand three A's impact which I love. Blue gun, great air chuck, uh, Milwaukee hat, hacksaw, blue point um, uh, cutter, wheel cutter, 3A, I mean the uh, Milwaukee drill bit, I mean drill gun, Makita drill gun, <clears throat> and I have the Bad Mama Jamma snap on PH305OB air hammer, all the bits. And then on this drawer, I'm going to pull it out at the same time. Snap on quarter inch, three A's. Milwaukee quarter inch, snap on quarter inch, Milwaukee three A's. And then this Milwaukee light, don't buy this, it's not the best. I mean, if you're going to use it for camping, buy it. Uh, right angle die grinder. Uh, old filter cups that are just in there for now. Next drawer, it's not really complete, so so I got my torque uh, wrench. It's, it's the bee's knees. I had to get the three eighths as well. There you go. Does regular foot pounds and uh, I think turns into newton meters and does angles at the same time. These come in handy for um, brake jobs, hanging calipers up. Quarter inch. Snap on uh, port. This is my electrical drawer. It's a mess right now, so still gotta organize it. Under here I got both uh, DVOMs. The leads, both uh, one blue point, one snap on. Got it from DC. Universal Technical Institute. Some uh, buck connectors I don't ever use because I always solder. Uh, Cornwall makes this uh, back probe kit. Then I got this fuse saver. Uh, so you got uh, fuses that blow, bloom constantly. So pretty much your, helps you find a uh, short so you're not constantly replacing uh, fuses. Um, tape, wires to make new uh, New circuits, rerun them, restring them, whatever you want to call it. Micro torch from Harbor Freight comes in handy. Uh, wire cutters and crimpers right here. Uh, got test lights, two of them snap on. Uh, micro 64 kit, terminal test kit for terminals, male and female from Cornwell sells this. Uh, got these 10 T pins right here. When you're trying to either back probe a circuit to test for stuff, it comes in good handy. So you you have a nice solid con connection. Then you got solder, rosin core, what we use right here. 
uh, some felt tape, butane, uh, electrical tape, and then my power probe kit I use a lot. Very good to check power and ground or make power and ground happen to a circuit to make sure things work before you uh, sell a customer the wrong item. Snap on soldering gun, as you can see in my old video, I mean my previous video, is gets used a lot. So, just alligator jumpers, clips, extensions, to, so you test a good amount of circuits. So, this is a big money maker drawer right here. This drawer has my hammer collection, gloves when I need to start beating stuff on and off. This drawer. So I have a uh, power serum pump installer and removal tool. As you've seen, it's Harbor Freight oxygen sensor sockets right here. Uh, brake depressor tool, stethoscope for make, uh, trying to figure out sound. Um, I have this kit right here. It uses pretty much to clean out any dust or dirt in the... Uh, and anything that you need. This uh, Maddox disc brake pad uh, caliper service kit tool. The crate sells it like 40, around 40 45 dollars. Uh, I use it all the time on pretty much rear brakes. And I have this Universal GM Chrysler harmonic balancer tool, balance pulley tool. There you go. junk drawer. As you see pretty much chain and just regular paperwork. And then up here. Ratchets, half inch, pretty pretty big the length of the whole drawer. Snap on and then I got Harbor Freight smaller version. And snap on breaker bar. Snap on half inch ratchet. Snap on 3A's. I love this one. My favorite to go to every single time. And then, as you can see, this is this one is Pittsburgh Pro or Pittsburgh. And you can see this is the right way. It's on and off, and then they had to go opposite off and then on. Miscellaneous. Don't know what brand. 3A's. Long snap on. Really good handy when you're far away. And same thing with this, it's a bit socket holder, and then you got your quarter wrench, and then you can flex the head. I have a semi deep, long I mean, snap on quarter wrench, I love it. It's Craftsman snap on, short one, I love it, comes in handy all the time. Older snap on, all my extensions for quarter wrench. Got long, long quarter inch. They come in handy on trailblazers when you're doing intakes. Half inch, I mean three eighths deep, and then all my other three eighths, different sizes, half inch short, and then a little bit longer. And this drawer I got right here. It's more uh, flat heads and Phillip heads, and as you can see, you got plenty. Snap on Harbor Freight. Miscellaneous pocket screwdrivers, Cornwall snap on, uh, Schrader valve removal tools, uh, spark plug gap tool, and there you go. I got more, my, all my lights are going to go in here. I got two more or three more lights, but I'm using that for my hutch right now. So, gotta buy some uh, hutch lights and then some more miscellaneous. Um, stuff, some medication and stuff like that. Um, I just bought these to put down the hat, uh, the hutch, but DVD to test on DVD entertainment systems, um, ASE books that I gotta get some more ASEs. And last drawer, pretty much. Um, fuel pressure tester, um, compression tester right here. Cylinder, cylinder leak down, snap on. Uh, master fuel quick dis disconnect tool. Um, some, some miscellaneous uh, drill bits right here. 
coolant pressure tester kit for, uh, for pretty much GM. It has all their cars too. And then this is the coolant refill um, tool. It gets pretty much all the air out of the system and it works amazing. So, recommend this one. Pretty much there you have it, man. 72 inch tool vault, Montezuma um, box and hutch. I'm pretty much loving it right now. Let me get you another view. There you go. Um, Got to do some uh, some struts soon. It's a great box. I love it right now. It's a beautiful color. Well, well put together and well designed. So. Strictly Toolboxes makes them online. You can find it. My whole setup was about $38.95 out the door with shipping. They shipped it for me, but uh, I had it shipped to work. So we used a forklift to take it off. Everyone at work gave me a hand. Everyone at work loves it. Even the snap-on head guys, they love it. They're pretty jealous of it a little bit. Um, so tell me what you thought. Drop a like, comment. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell and tell me what you thought. This is 410 Auto Tech out.